Mr. and Mrs. Nelson sat in the living room of their farmhouse, waiting for their children to come home. Why did those kids have to go to church tonight? Pastor Martin wanted to practice for the Christmas program. Big deal! I suppose Pastor Martin intends to help the kids and me with the evening chores, too. Oh, Bob, can't you even be a little bit excited about Christmas? It's a time for reflecting upon the marvelous gift which God gave us. If you're planning to preach another sermon, spare me. Christmas is nothing more than a gimmick that somebody invented to get people to buy merchandise that they don't even need for people that they don't even like. I hear the kids now. At least put on a little good cheer for their sakes. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Guess what? I can't guess. Tell me. I got an important part in the Christmas program. I'm narrator. Isn't that great, Dad? Yeah, real great. I get to be an angel and dressed up in a halo and song robe. I tried to tell Pastor Martin she didn't fit the oh, part. Keith, you didn't. Yes, he did, and everybody laughed. But that's okay. I know that he's only joking. Don't be too sure about that. Dad, will you go to the Christmas program with us this year? The only place I'm going with you kids is out to the barn to do the chores. And I'll tell you another thing right now. If I catch you neglecting your chores, then you can just forget that silly Christmas program. You understand me? Okay, Dad. Yes, sir. Later that night, Karen went to Keith's room to talk. Keith, what are we going to do about Dad? It seems like he's always upset with us, especially when we've been to church or when we talk about the Lord. I've noticed that, too. Inside, I feel really angry at Dad sometimes. Yeah, me too. He's been pretty unfair. But then I remember Matthew 5.16, Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. If Dad would at least listen to the gospel, maybe he'd get saved. He won't even listen. I'm going to be praying that Dad will go to the Christmas program with us. That would be the neatest Christmas present I ever got. On the evening of the program, the family had just finished dinner. Mom, would you mind listening to my recite my part for the Christmas program? Haven't we heard it enough? Please, Dad, just once more. Well, make it quick, then. Thanks, Dad. Here it goes. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1. Stop it! I can't stand to hear it even one more time. None of it makes sense. Are you trying to tell me that God came down to earth to live as a man? Why would God want to become a man? Because he loves us, Dad. He died on the cross to save from sin all those who would trust in him. That just doesn't make sense. God didn't have to become a man. Yes, dear. God did have to become a man. The Bible teaches that we are all blinded by sin and lost in sin's darkness. Jesus came to be our light. That's why we're celebrating his birth. We don't just celebrate because Jesus was a baby. We want to remember that he grew to be a man and died for our sins. Dad, won't you come with us to the Christmas program tonight, please? Forget it. I've heard enough preaching for one night. It still doesn't make sense. After the family left, Dad settled down with the newspaper. Outside, the fierceness of the wind whipped snow against the window. Those kids, they think that I'm gullible enough to believe that Christmas story. Why would God become a man? I don't need anybody to show me the way to heaven. Hey, what's that noise? Why, there's a flock of birds trying to get in here. They probably got lost in that snowstorm and they saw the light from the window. Shoo! Go away, crazy birds. I better go open the barn door and turn the light on there. Maybe that will attract them. I'm not to come out in weather like this just to save those dumb birds. I'll just open this door and then I'll chase them over the sled. There. Come on here, you birds. This way. Get away from that window. You'll be safe in the barn. Go on. Shoot. Get on down to the barn. Come on. Are you blind? trying to show you the way to safety. How can I convince those dumb birds to go into the safety of the barn? They don't trust me. I can't talk bird talk. I have to become a bird. That's it. That's what the kids have been trying to tell me. 
That's why God became a man. He really did want to show us the way. I've been blinded by my sin as those dumb birds have been blinded by the snow. Now I get it. I understand. God became a man to show us the way of salvation.